Welcome back. So as we move on to the next leg of our conversation, I'd just like you to quickly reflect on this. It's that staple on your diet that, um, you know, as an energy booster in the absence of carbohydrate, um, it's a simple embellishment, but it boosts your immune system. But it seems that now it's gradually becoming absent from our diet. It's eggs. So what is the cause of the soaring price of eggs in the country today and joining us to have this conversation this morning is mr onalo akba the director general poultry farmers association of nigeria good morning and thank you so much for coming on the program today good morning my sister so uh, let's start off with what seems to be characterizing the conversation since uh, the price of eggs began to increase astronomically and that is the concern about um the inc increase in the cost of feed which is for the poultry um you know it's a bit of a, a a concern and it's curious particularly because nigeria is one of the largest producers of maize in the country so what are the interventions uh, that have been provided for poultry farmers since uh the farmers began to cry out over the increasing cost of feed for poultry. Well, thank you, my sister. You know, the issue of um, uh, rising cost of uh, uh, table eggs in our market has been uh, a recurrent issue in the last uh, uh, few months. And it is not as a result of any other thing. It's not as a result of the farmers trying to make uh, money or excessive profit. It is as a result of so many factors that are beyond the control of the farmers. And one of these factors is the cost of um, maize and soya. In poultry production, up to 80% of the cost of production is basically cereals. And this cereals is maize, are maize and uh, soya. Uh, I'll give you an empirical price comparison. Between November last year and today, the price of these two basic products have risen beyond by almost 400 to 500 percent. By this time last year, when the harvest of uh, soya commenced, soya was going between 230 to 250,000 naira per metric ton. As of today, soya is around 950,000 metric ton. Now, the price of maize has also gone higher. Even now at harvest, the price of maize is around 600 to 700,000 naira per metric ton. While this time last year, it was around 200,000 metric ton, uh, 200,000 naira per metric ton. Now, this has invariably affected the cost of production of uh, an average egg that comes to our table on a daily basis. And this is not only as a result of uh, the, 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 the cost of these cereals, the the, 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 the the regulation of the economy whereby you have the firm price of petroleum products rising by 400%, the cost of diesel is also rise, rising much more, has also affected most of our production activities because virtually every poultry farmer operates like, uh, like, a, a, like a, an independent uh, uh, country whereby you have to provide for your water, you have to provide for your electricity, you have to provide in the absence of public electricity system, you have to run the generators. And running the generators means that you have to continue buying diesel at this high cost. So we've also seen that um, if 80% of the cost of provision is cereal, which is maize and soya, then the remaining 20% is micro-ingredients. And these micro-ingredients are imported. So where you have the price of the exchange rate parity uh, jumping from 600 or 700 naira to 1,700 or 1,650 naira as we have today. It has in comparatively increased the cost of production, and that is what is responsible. And I'll tell you a sad story of this. Um, not minding the cost of production that has risen, given rise to the cost of egg uh, beyond the, uh, the possessing power of the people, you also discover that we are crying that almost 50% of most of the small scale and medium poultry farms are already closing down. And that brings friction between supply and demand. And when there is a friction between supply and demand, invariably the price will rise. So it is a combination of so many factors that we've actually not gotten visible support from the government. And we are so worried that uh, uh, the situation is going to get worse than it is because except drastic intervention comes into the poultry industry, we are going to have 
uh, more uh, uh, price per, per egg, more price per, per, per kilogram of chicken uh, coming to Nigerians. And because of the possessing power of the people, a lot of people will not be able to affect this. And this will invariably uh, affect the nutrition of the people and then the health of the people. So uh, we are in a quagmire, a quagmire in the sense that except government comes drastically now to intervene in the poultry sector, we might likely become a dumping ground once again for poultry products from developed nations of this world. All right, I will speak to those interventions, but let's uh, put some context, if you help us. So what okay. are we dealing with here? Are we dealing with less supply, more demand of visor, sir? And how much is a unit cost? The unit cost, I mean, one egg averagely now, and or a crate of eggs. So let's put all of this in context, because I know you've mentioned uh, some production elements that are affecting this from uh, cost, uh, the feed cost that has to do with soybean and maize and, of course, transportation and fuel and all of that. But contextualize it for us so that everybody can relate in terms of reference. Okay, fine. Uh, let me contextualize it. In contexting it, today, a crate of egg goes to between 5,500 or 5,200 farm date price. In the market, it goes for 6,500, 6,700, depending on the market and the city. Now, um, people might see it as if at all the farmer is making profit. The farmer is not making profit. Most of the farms are surviving now because if you have 1,000, 5,000, 20,000, 100,000 laying beds, you can't just go and sell them because you cannot afford to feed them. So we need to sustain this production and then hoping that tomorrow maybe things might be improved. Now, the cost of production for, a, for an egg on the farm gate, at the farm gate, is around 4,900 to 5,000 naira per crate. You sell at 5,200, 5,300 at the farm gate price. The, the middleman buys them and take them to the market and sell between 5,700 and 6,000. Then it moves from one hand to the other. And as it moves from one hand to the other, everybody wants to make a profit. Now, the cost of pay today a kilogram of feed goes as much as 1,000 naira. And then you have a brawler or you have a layer taking 215 gram per bed per day. So by the time you translate into this cost, your cost of feed, your overhead cost, you discover that you are hardly making any profit. And it is because of this context of making no profit, no matter how efficient you are, that the small scale and the middle scale farms are shutting down right away. Because at the end, by the time they exhaust what they have, and then they, they could no longer feed the best, they have no alternative than they sell to sell the best as meat. And the moment they do that, then the system shuts down. They will not be able to replenish the farm again with their old chicks to feed them to the point of lay. So this is the context of the whole thing. Now, the cost, the cost of 25 kilogram bag of layer mash today is going as much as 22,000, 23,000, depending on the formulation, either a super mass or it is ordinary layers match. <laughs> so then the same thing for, for, for brawler, brawler starter, the same thing for brawler finisher. So invariably, we are in a situation whereby we are now saying, look, the low hanging fruit in the agricultural subsector today is the poultry industry. In situations whereby you can place your day old chicks today, in 35, 37 days, you can have 2.3, 2.5 uh, kilogram light bait of a chicken. And then you can sell them quickly, go back, restore. So that is to, 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 to us, with a population of 200 million people, with a school feeding program coming up where you could have 14 million uh, 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 primary school children taking one egg per day, or taking one egg per, per week for a whole month, for a whole year, it translates to a lot of things. And then how do we meet this demand? If we have continue to have a shrinking uh, 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 practitioners uh, 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 in this industry. And a lot of people are not coming with new investments. All but right, Mr. Akba. Yes. Yeah, I, I want you to speak to this. Um, uh, there are disclosures by the FCCPC, the Federal Consumer uh, Competition Protection uh, Corps, that um, you know big players in the industry have begun to dictate the price of chicks, which used to be 530 naira, about that range, to now 1,300 naira plus, which is part of the reasons uh, that is um, influencing the skyrocketing price of eggs. And this is despite government's interventions 
uh, for poultry farmers to bring down the price of eggs. I want you to speak to this. How true is yes. this? And who are these players? Yeah. Um, let me put it in a proper on, uh, context for Nigerians to understand. I read the report. The report emanated from the visit of the Federal Competition Board to Aquaibom State. Now, Aquaibom State is not one of the major poultry producing states in this country. Now, if you have a supply system of day old chicks into the market, you have a supply system of feed into the market, and big capitalists within the state decides to use their processing power to buy and then determine what they sell. To me, uh, it is an issue that, as an association, we can deal with because we have chapters in the various states of the federation. And when you want to compare what happens in Aqua Bomb State, as one state out of the 36 plus one from the FCT, it is not what you can bring into a context. If you now say that uh, the big people are now controlling the market, then I'll take you back to the green business. And I, we know when <coughs> the problem started when we have the anchor borrowers program and a lot of big players were given money to buy greens and aggregate i'll tell you where the spike in the price of commodities started now today we have people who have resources who buy commodities hold them and refuse to bring them out if the government can deal with that situation i think it will be better than to deal with pockets of few people two merchants in a pipe bomb state that uh, possibly could be dealt with so we can't bring it into the context of a generalized Nigerian as a nation. That is not happening. If the Aquabon State chapter of the Poultry Association of Nigeria has reported to us, we would have weighed in to deal with that issue without going to the Federal uh, 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 Consumption Competition uh, Board. So, but when we want to talk generally about the country, the government has to look at major aggregators of grain. Because right. people who are going to buy more and put them, and they don't want to sell, and it is causing the spike in prices. And then a lot of people are also exporting soya that we are not sufficiently producing to export into this country. These are major issues that. Mr. Akpa, very quickly, and, very yes. quickly, are you saying also that it is untrue that government is providing interventions for poultry farmers in the area mm -hmm. of feed and other supplies required for poultry production? Are you saying it's not true or it's not far reaching mm -hmm. enough? we have never had any intervention to the best of my knowledge because i sit on the poultry industry in nigeria we have never had any intervention major intervention there could be pockets of intervention within the states which can never impactively be felt in the industry we've never had any support we've been writing we've never had any visible support then there could be pockets of support where some states were allocated greens and then those states decide to give maybe 10 percent of the greens to poultry farmers within their domain to me that is not an impactful intervention that will globally will, that will nationally transform into a competitive price for poultry and poultry meat for, for egg and poultry meat for nigerians uh, Ms. Akba, it was interesting and i wish the government was here to defend themselves because we hear these things we hear this uh either an appropriation or intervention and then when we talk to the people on ground like you and we're hearing something else but just let's just uh, piggyback a bit what level of intervention is required to bring down the price of eggs because at the end of the day what we're looking at is how did we get to 200 250 even 300 naira for a, an egg how can we get it back to at least say 70 50 20 if possible or it's far-fetched yeah what i continue to say and i will say this if you want to do an intervention or if you want to do a policy Call the stakeholders. You are talking to me right away. I represent the entire poultry farmers in Nigeria. Call the stakeholders. What level of intervention do you want? If you now say this is the level of intervention, you should be able to know what is the total uh, egg, table egg needs of this country in a year. Now, what do you need to produce at this rate? Now, if it is for meat, what do you need to promote? What do you need to produce at this rate? Then we'll now sit down on the table and agree on a particular intervention and if those interventions has no visible effect in bringing down the price of uh, these products to nigeria you sanction you sanction the farmers we should have control mechanism whereby when government give intervention we should be able to have monitoring and evaluation and see that the effect of the now, intervention Zach, well, that's why i'm asking you on live tv they are listening they are watching yeah. maybe you highlight one or two as we wrap up create create a portal development fund whereby the interest rate of lending to farmers should not be above maximum 
a special poultry intervention form, then give a target. If you give a target and you say, I want you people to produce at 3,000 naira per crate of a table egg, and this is what I want you to do. You, I'm going to give you lending. This lending is not going to be hoodwinked by bureaucracy. It's not going to be hoodwinked by uh, uh, insider abuses. Then we'll be able to produce. Now, today, the entire stock of mm. grains, our strategic grain reserve, is not up to 1 million in a country of 200 million people. Now, assuming we have 20, 30 million metric tons of maize in the strategic grain reserve, you can now say, okay, fine, poultry farmers, I'm giving you 5,000, I'm giving you 5 million metric tons because we have we, we consume around 4 million metric tons of maize per annum out of the 12 million metric tons that is being produced annually. You haven't spoken of the family, the family, the household use. You haven't spoken of industrial use. You haven't mm. spoken of uh, the, the industry, the, the, the cereal based companies like Nestle. So if 5 million metric tons of maize today in your strategic grain reserve, you know, say, okay, I'm going to give it to you at 30%, 40% subsidy. Now produce your egg, table eggs, produce your chicken at 40% uh, below the price. Then we'll be able to do that. You and know, that is you the know, beautiful intervention we want from government. You know, Mr. Akba, I, I wonder if a poultry and a minimal interest poultry intervention fund will be sufficient, you know, to address these rising prices of the eggs. Uh, maybe we'll be talking more about abundant uh, production of maize uh, because in the first place, Nigeria is one of the biggest producers of that particular crop that is required for poultry production. But we must anchor at this point. It's an ongoing conversation. And I assure you, we're going to stay with that. We're totally out of time. We'll stay with it and I return it in the future so that we can continue to reflect on it. Government at all levels will continue to reflect on it. We must thank you very much, Mr. Onalo Akba, who is the Director General, Poultry Association of Nigeria. Thank you so much for your time on the program. Pleasure. Thank you so much. I'm honored.